kids, it's Library and Cat with Kids Create, and today we are going to be making some twirling sun catchers with plastic bottles. So I would not recommend or advocate using plastic bottles in general. I think you should always use a refillable water bottle, but sometimes we end up with plastic water bottles for whatever reason. Um, so this is a way we can repurpose them. So today you'll need for this project some plastic water bottles if you have them. You'll need some permanent markers and they have to be permanent markers because uh, the washable ones or most markers that aren't permanent will just come right off. They don't adhere to the plastic and they'll get messy and get all over your fingers. So you have to have permanent markers. I am lucky to have a lot of colors here today. But if you have one color or two or three, that will still make a really pretty sun cap catcher. So um, if you just have one bright color, that's fine, but the more the merrier. You will need some scissors, and adults will need to probably help you with this part, the cutting part. You will need some sort of string to tie your sun catcher. Fishing wire works really well, but if you don't have that, any kind of string, maybe even thread might work. You will need, well, this is optional, a clothespin, but it really is useful for hanging it from whatever object you'd like to hang it from, a tree or something in your house that catches a lot of light. And you'll need a protector for your work surface. Um, some permanent markers do not come off of most surfaces, so it's really important to protect the surface you're working on. And you also might want to wear some clothes that you don't care get about getting markers on, just in case. So go ahead and pause now and go gather your supplies. Okay, got your supplies? Let's get started. So first thing we're gonna do is Take the plastic water bottle and we're going to take off the label, if it has one. So once you have that taken off, you are going to take your markers and just color it in. Color it in any way you want. I did this one with stripes all the way down, and I put some hearts at the top. You're going to color from the very top all the way down to maybe the last quarter inch. We're going to be cutting that part off so you don't need to color it. So I'll get started, but this will take a little bit of time, so I'm not going to show you the whole coloring process because you're going to do it the way you want anyway. So go ahead and start coloring your bottle. Okay, now that you have it all colored in, in any way that you want it to, as long as it's from the top all the way down to the bottom, um, it's time to cut off the bottom. You can take your scissors and an adult. Once again, you might need an adult to help you do this. Should recycle this now or you could if you want to use it for some other craft and now we're going to take the scissors and we're going to just cut at a diagonal starting from the bottom I'm going to make one long ribbon starts tapering. So we've got a ribbon and then after you've got it cut you can take the lid off and we're going to tie our string or fishing wire around the um, 
top of the bottle. Okay, so once you have the string tied on, um, if you would like to make it extra secure, you can put the lid back on. Um, if you like the way it looks without the lid better, you can leave it off. And now's the time we're going to take our clothespin. And you could either tie a knot onto the clothespin or just clip it onto where you'd like to hang it. So let's go try and hang it on a tree. Reduce, reuse, recycle. Reducing is cutting back on the amount of trash we make. You can reduce trash and your impact on our environment by only purchasing goods that you need and selecting items that have less packaging. Reusing is finding a new way to use items so that you don't have to throw them out. You can reuse items by repurposing them as we did this water bottle today. You could also refill the water bottle to use again. You can donate old clothes and toys so that they don't end up in the landfill. Recycling is using trash to remake new goods that can be sold again. You can recycle your plastic, metal, paper, and more by placing it in a proper recycling container. The items will be processed and made into new items that can be recycled again. You can learn more about Reduce, Reuse, and Recycle at the National Institute of Health Sciences website for kids. And there you have it. Twirling sun catchers you can make at home with simple supplies. Hope you had fun, and we'll see you next time on Kids Create. Bye!